What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hi guys, welcome back to another video So today we are going to do a first impressions on a bunch of drugstore stuff that I bought And I'm going to kind of figure out what dupes these would be So that I can let you guys know and see how long they they last. I love to um, try out so many different products just so I can help anybody and everybody with these dupes. So if you guys want to know exactly what I got, stay tuned and keep on watching. Okay guys, don't mind my hair. It's a little frizzy today. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just the weather. I have no idea. But anyways, today, like I said, we are going to be using all of these drugstore items. I did scooch myself in so you guys could see all my imperfections on my face. And so here we go. Um, the first thing I actually grabbed is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer Stick. Um, I've never tried this before, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And I've already <clears throat> done my whole like makeup skin prep routine. Um, and you can see that video link down below. It has a little cap, which is really nice. It looks super smooth. Um, I'm hoping this works better than the Revolution Pro um, Blur Stick, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna put this right here. It instantly takes off shine as soon as I do that, so that's great. It has a weird smell. Blech. You know me, I would think they're scented like peach or like roses or cucumber or anything like relaxing, but this doesn't smell very nice. But although the texture is really smooth, I really love it. It's not like dry, it's a like moisturizing matte, if that makes sense, like a mousse almost. I hate when you like use like something like this and you go, er, and it just sticks because it's so matte. I don't like that. So this has the perfect consistency. Again, it just smells kind of funky, blah. But <laughs> here we go. So now I'm gonna try a new foundation. I am not very good at trying new foundations. I stick to kind of like my certain ones. I think I have like about eight of them that I love. Um, but I really want to try this because they say they're similar to the ones that I love. So Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. So you don't need like a concealer with this one. I did get a darker shade because my skin is getting tan, as you can see. So we'll see. Um, I get fairly dark during the summertime. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this out. Okay, so here's my Beauty Blender, all damp. I did pick up another Wet n Wild one because I love them so, so very much. Usually you'll see the pink ones like at Target. But, um, I bought this black one on Amazon, so I'm really happy I did, because I don't like, well, I don't know. For me, I just like when things are more neutral colors. Um, yeah, I just don't know why, but that's what it is. Okay, so, that was just one dab into it, and it's doing a really good job, I think. I think it's backing really nice to, actually, my shoulder and my chest, which is good. It's so weird, because when I'm on TikTok... My real personality too, it's like I'm so bubbly and I'm so outgoing and I'm really silly and that's actually who I am. But here on YouTube, for whatever reason, I like see, I, I don't know why my, my body acts like it's like a business meeting or something. It's kind of like when I worked at Mac, like on the floor, I'm really bubbly and happy and just like, um, I'm just like a happy, inviting person. But then it's when I go into a meeting with like, and I have to listen and like really just like articulate my words and stuff. And it's not like fun, I guess you could say. Not that YouTube isn't fun, it is. I'm just like trying to make sure that my sentences make sense. Um, then all of a sudden, like I get really serious and that's the hard part is like I keep telling myself like just be like TikTok like you're just so outgoing and fun and bubbly and everything is like just awesome and just give them the info that you need to give them um but I think it's always been me like I don't know what do you think anyways um, back onto the show as you can see I really don't need concealer for this I'm probably going to brighten under the eyes okay so a new concealer that I actually picked up is the elf 16 hour camo concealer um this is comparable to a couple different things it's kind of comparable to like Tarte Shape Tape or um Jeffree Star, except a little bit thicker. I think that this is a little bit thicker consistency than Jeffree Star's concealer. This is a really good concealer for $6. So, um, they also have a hydrating one. If you do not like matte, they do have a hydrating one. Try the <laughs> hydrating one if you are more dry. Um, that will definitely, um, help with those dry patches on the face. But this one works for me because I am a lot more oily. Um, now I know that people don't like the triangle method because it's too much, but I like being extra. So, Gigi is going to be extra today. And if people don't like it, oh well. You know, everybody has their own preference. So there we go. And now I'm going to blend this out. Don't worry, I look a little crazy right now, but I won't in just a minute, so just chill. Even my husband's like, what is going on? Like, don't worry about it. it. It'll come together. I look snatched at the end, don't I? <laughs> I think too, with the bright lights, it always looks a little crazier. But crazy is fine for me. Oh my gosh, okay. So, as you can see, it does brighten under the eyes. You really don't need a lot with this. Um, if I were somebody that loved to do cream contours, you could get like a darker color of this and use it to do cream contour too. Um, I think it would work really well. So, there's that. I'm gonna use the Fit Me powder. It's the matte and poreless one. I'm gonna get like a big fluffy brush. 
I'm like, oh my god, okay. <laughs> of course, I dropped everything. Okay, so here's this. And I'm just gonna press it into my face. Just like so. And I'm always the type where my foundation's a little bit darker than my powder. It's just always been the right, like, formulation for me. I always do, like, a darker foundation, a really light concealer for under the eyes, or a brightening um, stick with the Prep and Prime Highlighting Stick. And then I go in with, like, a... Um, powder that's like in between the foundation and the concealer and for whatever reason i feel like it just blends it out so well it doesn't make this look too bright compared to the rest of your skin okay so next i'm gonna be going in with this rimmel london natural bronzer it is in the color sunlight now this one is a dupe for beijing beauty which is um max newest color and it's similar to give me sun as well so if you like either one of them this one is going to be similar to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get an angled brush, just like this one. This is actually my e.l.f. brush. Um, it is a dupe for the MAC angled brush. Um, I really love it. It's more on the dense side. And as you can see, I feel like it gives you like the perfect bronzy color. It's not too much, not too little. Although be careful because this is really powdery. It looks super beautiful. I just love the color. Um, this is actually a dupe for the Laura Mercier or the Hourglass um translucent powder this actually has a um hint of color in it so it's not completely white it's just more of like a beige color so that's what it looks like and this is just in the color translucent that's what it's called it's by wet and wild um i love to take a damp beauty blender and i get the flat side of the wet and wild brush um and this is actually not a beauty blender. this is pretty before the beauty blender it's the wet and wild one sorry i'm gonna go ahead and cut right here i don't like to put too much some people love to pack it but that's just not me gg or giselle if you know me as giselle i don't like doing that so i just feel like it's just too much um so yeah anyways so you're gonna take it and you're gonna go under the eyes just like that this beauty sponge is amazing i really really enjoy it i really really do i just like to put it more in the spots where i want to brighten or more oily and i take my fluffy wavy brush um 130 wavy from make it forever i just kind of do with this now, a really great dupe for this is the Morphe one. I don't have it. I don't know where it went, but that is the dupe for it. And I'll put it right here so you guys can see it. Um, so we're going to go like that. And as you can see, it gives a little bit of a chisel, but not too much. My Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. I really do like this eyebrow pencil. Uh, all eyebrow pencils, keep in mind, work differently. Their formulas are all different. So uh, this one kind of reminds me of like max spiked it's a little bit more creamier um and so the color just goes right on super quick and so i have to keep that in mind because with some of the other formulas like color pop or anything like that they're not as creamy so when they go right on the brow i have to like really push with this you really don't have to so that is definitely a plus and light handily just like carving the brow out like that and then just follow the natural brow if you don't already know um you can watch my tutorial on how to do the brows okay guys so here are my brows i'm gonna carve them out i'm actually gonna use the elf concealer to carve my brows out so i just get just a little bit and go underneath and just follow it again i love using like flat brushes like this this one is my anastasia i know that elf has one too i had it and i don't know what i did with it so i will put the dupe up here for you so you guys can see it i'm gonna try to do this with all my videos um if you guys actually like the high-end product you guys could buy that too i'm not saying don't um but this is just for people who really don't want to um so i'm just putting it on the side that there is a dupe for it because sometimes um we can't go to the store and get it or we need something that is similar to it at the moment like if you're on a uh, vacation and there's a sephora or ulta near you um and now I'll only buy things i actually really really, really want and i research stuff get a little bit of powder and just pinch the brush a little bit and just kind of tap it right there where that i can go into that and we have a concealer just make sure it's not gonna move <clears throat> and voila there is that um i might get a lighter color next time this color seems to be today i think i'm going to use the maybelline color tattoo 24 hour front runner um pomade and this is what it looks like it's like a little cream it reminded me of my um makeup forever one it's my aqua um shadow so you're just gonna get a little bit with your finger and tap and that's my little bit on the background um this is pretty buildable once it sets and dries it's not gonna come off even if you go in the pool which is awesome i'm just gonna go ahead and put this right here You see that? So if I bring it out a little bit. Now, hmm. I think I'm gonna spray my face with the Milani setting spray. Now I'm just gonna press that into my skin. So everything just blends together and it doesn't look powdery. 
just like that. Okay, so I looked at my face and I thought, hmm, I need a little bit more color. So I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush stick. Um, this one is in the color Glistening Peach. It's really pretty. It looks like that. I just got to put a little bit on my cheeks and then just blend out with my fingers. No, it like turns into matte once you put it on the face. Okay, guys, last but not least, I got this Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. This is what it looks like. It's supposed to be a lip plumper. It's by Maybelline. I love the packaging. kind of reminds me of... Kim K's packaging. So uh, let's see. And it's in the color amber. I think it's so pretty. Mm. Huh. Oh, I like it. It's like a sheer wash. It smells really good. It smells like coffee. Mmm, I like this. This is cute. not only is it cute, but it smells really good. I don't feel any burning or anything, which is great. Huh. I like it. I like the color. Oh my goodness. This drugstore first impressions was a good one. I think everything turned out well. I know what they can be dupes for if they last as long as they need to last throughout the day. So we will see. But so far, so good. This video took me a really long time to do because both of my boys kept interrupting me. But that's okay. Um, I hope you guys like it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know if there's anything new that you guys got and I should get, okay? Bye!